being sessile and therefore unable to move away from adverse conditions, trees, both hardwoods and some of the softwoods, have developed a system which gives them protection under these circumstances. This is known as epicormic buds or dormant buds that are located beneath the bark of the tree. These characteristic epicormic shoots, sometimes called suckers, are produced normally in some species, such as hazel and elder and certain varieties of lime trees. These shoots or suckers look very different from the normal trunk of the tree or shrub. They tend to grow straight upwards without any side branches and they thicken with age. They tend to be used for things like walking sticks, wattle fencing and for the stays used by thatchers and other purposes. In those species that don't automatically produce these epicormic shoots, the conditions that cause it are normally some form of stress. This can be both physical or it can be physiological, such as insect defoliation, frost, wind damage, drought, um, proximity competition with other species. Uh, it could be a poor location, it could be the orientation of the tree bowl or base, or it could be light conditions being very high. It could also be by heavy predation by grazers, such as deer. Because they're beneath the bark, you can often only see these dormant buds if they never do develop when the tree bark falls off, when the tree dies. They can be seen as individual buds or as clusters. In those species that automatically produce this epicormic growth, such for instance as the hazel and the lime, it's suggested that the growth may be sacrificial. That is, it's there so that the grazers will not get to the actual bark of the main trunk and instead will eat these suckers. But the more suckers that are eaten, the more develop and the better protection becomes. In natural conditions, the epicormic growth can replace individual trunks or branches but in man-made circumstances, the use of pollarding, coppicing and stripping is a deliberate attempt to make use of the timber that's produced from epicormic growth. Much rarer are the epicormic roots. These are usually produced when there's a great increase in moisture. This can happen, for instance, with a tree struck by lightning, where a wound is left, the tree wood dies rots, absorbs water, and that triggers the epidermic root. And when the rotting material vanishes, is blown away over time, the roots are left there exposed. 